Talk. And we know we're live on YouTube and we're live on Twitch and we're live on LinkedIn Live. So there we are. Come and join us. And a very, very good evening to you. Thank you for sending me likes. Dinky do, Scotty La. Beachy, beachy, dinky do to you, La. Lovely to have you with us. And a very, very warm welcome, I say. Now, we've started our Monday evening phone in, and we did a, did have a challenge late on Saturday night, and we didn't manage to get back up to see you. But nevertheless, it's great to be with you tonight, and a big dinky do from me, Scotty McClue. So much to talk about, and so little time to do it in. Welcome, welcome, welcome to all our lovely TikTokers. Keep it up, I thank you. If you haven't followed me on TikTok, please get following as soon as possible. And of course, live on the phone in on YouTube, then subscribe and tap the bell. Follow me on Twitch, Scotty underscore McClure. And we'll be taking your phone calls very shortly and seeing what is what tonight. I'd quite like to touch on the subject of marriage. Is marriage a good thing or a less good thing? Now, we've experienced it in difficult times and in good times. We've had lockdown together, etc., etc. So it would be nice to see just what is what. Give us a call on that one and we will chit chat, I say. So we're looking at marriage tonight. Excellent. And uh, I'm just making some notes here because lots and lots of reaction from you already. We like that. The man which grew down from a cap. Good afternoon, sir. Kirby the Annihilator. How lovely to have you with us from the other side of the world, I say. Now, I think we'll go and see if we can get to the phones, see what's happening there. Always good stuff. Off to the telephones and see what is what. There we go. Wonderful stuff. And uh, let's hope that uh, somebody will give us a call and we can see what is what. Should be working well. Excellent. So if you're watching right now and you'd like to phone in, you'll see the number across the bottom of the screen. Feel free to do that and come on and join us. To all our lovely, lovely TikTokers, a very, very warm welcome to you. There we are. Thank you. A big plate of haggis. Thank you, 85 Mick. We like a big plate of haggis. And we'll just see what's happening with the phones. You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scotty. It's Glenn. Glenn, dinky you do. How are you, lad? You got on That's first right. light tonight? Nice. Uh, there's been a bit of glitch tonight on a few platforms, haven't there? Hey, yeah. huge glitch. So we'll not be joined by some of our platforms tonight. Yeah, definitely. You know, but uh, we'll not go into that, Glenn, because that's their yeah. business and it's now to do with us. And at least yeah. we're here and you and I are chatting. And you can't that's say cool. fairer than that unless you can't pronounce your Fs or THs. Are you on them platforms as well, Scott? I'm on one of the platforms that's gone down tonight, yeah. Yeah. I'm Mr. Goatface on TikTok has sent me yeah. 25 beautiful cookies. That's and then another 15. Fun. Well, we ought not, absolutely, because we've just got started. Scotty, sometimes you don't get one or two gremlins, don't you? Insist, well, you get the gremlins. Well, we had them Saturday night, and I meant to pop back up. I apologise to everybody, but it was 1.13 before I got the phones working again. And I thought, no, they've all gone to the bed. Was that in early hours of Sunday morning? I watched at it from uh, 11 o'clock. Well, yeah. 10 to 11, we had to, we lost a few minutes at the end, but it didn't matter. And um, then uh, it was one thirteen before I got them working again. Do you, do you think that's the difference between how it used to be run back in the day with Wizard to how it is now? You didn't get so many glitches in Well, you didn't like get the glitches because, the, A, the equipment was absolutely superb because it had cost hundreds of thousands of pounds. And B, the wizard sorted any problems out. So the wizard was in and out with me all the time, uh, switching things and sorting things and telling me what was what. And we kept everything going. But remember, that's a big money setup. We're on a shoestring here, Glenn. It's, a, it's more advanced, though, I suppose, and it's got to consider it. Well, it's, it's absolutely brilliant uh -huh. because the technology that we've got here, you see, a few years ago, somebody said, the problem is 
You'll never be able to get VOIP, Voice Over Internet Protocol. It will never replace the solid state and things. And I mean, look at it now. You and I are talking on it right now. What did you say to them then when they said that? Well, I said to them, I said, well, it will come because I was one of your pioneers, typical McClure. In 1998, yeah. I had very serious senior conversations. I said, and how does that work? And they would say, oh, well, that goes on a, um, uh, what, what do you call it, when they, they've got the big thing that sends everything out on the internet. You know the one I mean? Uh, I know what you mean, yeah. You know the one I mean? So they said, oh, no, that would go on that, a server. So I said, yeah. right, well, can I have my own server? Right. And then I said, now, what about the information? They said, well, to try and explain it to you, Scotty, the information goes down a big pipe. Now, the pipe is of limited circumference. So you can't cram all the information down it. It's too much. Because in those days, you dialed up. You used to say to your nan, Nan, don't phone us tonight. I'm going on internet. I'm going on telephone. Yeah, I'm going on a telephone. It'll be engaged. And and then you went, bloop, 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 bloop. I've just got you on telly. I mean, errors just come up, Scotty, actually. What's come up? You know, on YouTube. Yeah. And Eris just come up. What's it saying? He just said something went wrong and Eris occurred. And Eris occurred. Right, well, we'll try and uh, keep it going. Just like I said, just make, everybody will be aware of what's going on anyway, or they will all this. Yep, I mean, okay. that's that's what it is. Somebody's saying, Keith's saying, I don't get your notifications, I have to look for you. Yeah, sometimes I do as well, so yeah. Right, yeah, see, well, that's that's not so good. You should be hearing, yeah. everybody should know McClue's on, the whole world should know yeah, McClue's on. Scotty, I'm subscribed to you anyway, we, we all are, aren't we? I think it's... You're a top like, man. You're a top man. And, Glenn, um, what I did, I would been, I'm so grateful to people because what I did was I put out a little note and said, 100 angels, £7.50, yeah. please, for next step, and they've all done the stuff. Yeah, you're back on now. I've refreshed it anyway, Scott. Hey, that's the stuff. Lovely to hear you. That's what to do. A bit of refreshing. Say again, Scott. Yeah. A bit of refreshing is always good. You, you, some, you've got to do that a lot of weight. Yeah. Like yeah, you've got you've got to be I mean, Glenn, look at the fact that we're here, you and I are looking at each other. Brilliant, isn't it? It's fantastic. You know, and, and we mean, can do that all around the world. You see, like I said, they weren't as privileged back in the day, the overseas overseas people were to be honest. No, they couldn't get it. They couldn't get it. You could only get to the one channel. Whatever they were transmitting all whatever it were, you know. Anyway, I better dash because they're all going bananas here. We've had our eight yeah. minutes. Scotty, it's just uh, hopefully things will get better anyway with, with these problems. Listen, right? don't you worry. The very fact that you and I can well, chit chat means Scotty, world's all right. Scotty, it'll give people more chance to communicate with each other instead of. This is it. This is instead it. Instead of going on to these platforms. Yep, yeah, this is it. So it's fantastic oh, stuff. Fun. Phone your auntie Fanny up and all that. On, phone your uh, granny and your auntie Fanny and have a bit crack. <laughs> phone all of them up on phone instead of <laughs> messenger and stuff. It's, that's what it's all about, Scotty, isn't it? It is, la. And a hey, and dinky do to the. Dinky do, take it easy, Scotty. Yeah, you're, you're, hey, you're an absolute top man. You're a legend, Scotty. I'll see you. See this guy. See the Lala. <laughs> Fantastic. There we are. That's our Glenn. Now, some beautiful chat tonight. I want to get to the chat tonight. I can see you all. It's just phones going. You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scotty. It's Kareem. Ah, Kareem. Excellent stuff. Dinky do. Thank you, do, Scotty. How are we? Now, excellent. Yes, wonderful. And we've got big stuff on TikTok. TikTok, no, your normal platforms, I see, Scotty. Yeah, we've got TikTok, and we've lost a couple of platforms tonight. With uh, They've just oh. gone out. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay. No, nothing to do with me. They've just gone yeah. down. It's it's in national. It's international. Sometimes that does happen, though, doesn't it? Oh, oh, yes, of course. You're going to get that, Kareem. You know, you can't, yeah. uh, you know, you can't have, uh, you can't have everything working all the time. <laughs> but if we, if we can get it working some of the time, that would be rather good. Yes. So I just want to say to everybody that is listening uh, to get on 
uh, their phone, with their computer, yes. and get donating to be one of those 100 angels. I done it earlier on. You did it, and I want to thank you. I saw that it comes through on my phone, Kareem, and I thought, what a lovely guy. You have been more than generous since the start. There's, you know, I mean, you barely come on, but there's another pound or two, you know what I mean? Yeah, but I, I just feel, Scotty, like, you do this out of the, the kindness of your heart, you know, and at the end of the day, you know, it's something I look forward to. You hear people having a good chit-chat and it brings your night up, you know. And, well, it's absolutely you know, free, Kareem. It doesn't cost anybody a penny. Nobody's under any obligation. But I feel that if somebody can spare £7.50, it's not the end of the world. And uh, it just makes all the difference to the show. Well, because I would have to, I would have to to save up and save up and save up to get there. You know, we get yeah. there quicker. Well, if you were in London, that's a, pri a price of a pint in London. So that's some of that. Is that what it is now? Do you know when I used to go down to London, Kareem, I couldn't believe it. I would go to the bank, like in Scotland, you'd go to the bank and take out a hundred quid, and uh -huh. that would last you for for a, a week or two. Oh, Do you know, okay. you had it in yeah. your wallet and you thought, how much is that, love? Four pound, oh my God. And and all the stuff. Now, you would go to London, taxi. Uh, thanks, Gov, uh, 12 quid, thanks. Oh, right, another 12 quid. I mean, I'm talking 30 years ago. Jeez, oh, right. You know, and then you went in for a pint, pint please. Uh, yeah, that's uh, two pound 13, please. Two pound 13? It's two and tuppence at my rugby club. I know, the prices are the, the, the You know, before you know where you are, and I always remember going, and I won't embarrass the store by saying where it was, but when I was a student, I went into the store and I thought, I think I'll have a cup of tea. So I sat down at the table. It said, uh -huh. it said, um, waiting service. So I, sat, so I sat at the table and this girl comes up and said, excuse me, it's a £2.50 charge for the table. I said, I'm not buying the table, love. I just want a cup of tea. <laughs> She said, no, no, if you if you're sitting at the table, it's a two pound fifty charge. And I think she did a look at me and thought, this young student, you know, hasn't got a farthing to scratch it, you know. Right. <laughs> so I, I said I said, well, no. well, I just said, I just said to her, I said, well, well, listen, not to worry about that. I'll get uh, I'll get a glass of water along the road. <laughs> well, Scotty, earlier on as well, just to put up that um I'm, I'm bringing up the royal family quite a few times just now. Oh, did you see my did you see my latest YouTube video? I haven't seen it yet, Scotty. Right, there's one on YouTube. I just uploaded it. Oh, maybe an hour ago. Right. Okay. Yeah, and it's a it's a clip from the other day mm -hmm. because a guy came on. He said the Queen reaffirmed the union. I thought, no, 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 she did not. She reaffirmed her position of head of state for Scotland. I cut and paste that comment that you made again. I've just been doing that and right. earlier on criticizing the monarchy and everything. And I was absolutely slaughtered. I think I did tag you in it. So when you get a moment, have Good. a dozy. But I've not bothered to read the comments because it just shows you, let me be polite, how thick a lot of people are that are commenting. Back they are people. incredibly thick. And on some of these platforms, the thickness is inherent. They can't see. You see, Kareem, bottom line, here's absolute bottom line. Even if you were the most absolutely ardent anti monarchist, if you want independence for Scotland, you shut your mouth and you Correct. leave things as they are because they're going to stir this up themselves. Now, a lot of these nationalists don't understand their own history. So there have been bids since 1932 for Free Scotland, and it's come in and come out. It used to be looked almost verging on terrorism. Now it's absolutely mainstream, yeah? And it's right. mainstream, so there's a chance, but they've always blown it by being perceived as anti-monarchist. Yeah. So people yeah. give up and then, and whatever goes on in the heads of all your union flag wearing um, loyalists and, and, and football fans and things like that, whatever goes on in their head, they are also Scottish people with a vote. And if I was one of them, no matter how right or how wrong my philosophy was, I would be saying, I'm not having anything to do with that if they're not going to have the Queen. 
But you know, the yeah. funny thing last night was I was speaking to one of my friends. Um, he used to work in Asda, and he, I said, that since I've been speaking to Scotty McClure, I've seen his view towards the monarchy, and I've looked at it a different view. If you asked me a number of years ago, I wouldn't, I wasn't for the monarchy. But stepping back and looking at it now, it is absolutely crucial that we do have it. And he was gobsmacked. I says, well, Danny, if I can change my mind and educate myself towards that, you can do the same towards Scotland being free. Because at the end of the day, you've got nothing to fear in terms of the, the, the royal family. No, you just leave to... that alone. Status yeah. quo. Yeah. Do you know, yeah. status quo, we've had it. I mean, top, top journalists arguing with me about we've had the monarchy for 2,347 years. And they say to me, yeah. don't be ridiculous. The first king was Kenneth MacAlpin in 928 or 898 or whatever it was. Kenneth MacAlpin was crowned in Argyll. And um, I say, yes, that's the modern monarchy, but the old Celtic kings, and you go back to re, R-I, re, royal, R, rex, and the ancestors of rex. So right away back before Christ, Scotland had head people. You know, and then your declaration of our growth that the nationalists will quote to you, yes, and you know I'm a big fan of the idea economically of independence. The nationalists will quote, oh, the declaration of our growth when the people, the people stood up as long as a few of us remain alive. You say, no, no, the declaration of our growth was a letter from the aristocracy to the Pope saying, can we choose the king here in Scotland rather than you choosing him from Rome. Yeah. Yeah. And that was, that's 300 years before the Reformation, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, it was funny yesterday, Scotty, I was taking the dogs a walk and I was in a bit of a tour of the place and I was over at Dumbarton walking as a um, Leaven Grove Park. Now that's a beautiful ancient place. I nearly went to yeah. a school called Keel School. Right, right, right beside Leaving Grove one? Park. Sorry? Was that a private one? <laughs> well, it, yes, it was actually, but I'll tell you for why. I come yeah. from an old Argyll family, and Keel School was originally at Keel in South End at the bottom of Kintyre. Right. And it yeah. went on fire in, I think, 1915. Keel House, huge, huge, big house. And it went yeah. on fire. If you look over the wall to this day, you see a porch a porch corsair, and that belonged to Keel House. So I think it was something like 1915, and the benefactor was William McKinnon, who was a shipping magnate. I think he owned something like British India ships or p &O or something big like that, right? So William yeah. McKinnon was the founder of Keel School. And if your family were Argyle, you got um, a bit off the fees. Right, okay. So my parents looked at that, but they, they decided I was getting such a good education in the local school. They just left yeah. me where I was. Yeah, well, it was interesting because after the walk there, I went down to Port Glasgow. Yes. And I was just thinking to myself, see, and this is where I was speaking to my friend last night about a lot of things. I just thought the opportunities we have, that, that, that massive port and what we can export to the rest of the world. So I said, um, you think of that if up at Dundee with jam and all these things, you look yeah. down at Motherwell with the steel. Yeah. It was just so much. So I think I've opened his mind a little bit. I thought I've got a bit more persuading to do. But um, he was set back as well that how I've totally changed towards the monarchy over the the, 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 the years. But I'll leave you in this thought, Scotty. Before I, I just love the way that you are a lifelong learner. And, you know, I mean, then it's it's a real class act for a, for a teacher, um, you know, and, and I mean, you're into things out with your subject, which is the way it should be. But there's so much out there, Kareem, and McClue's life has been informing, educating and entertaining. Yeah. Absolutely. Not. I, couldn't so, I love listening to all the callers. And I remember, I think it was last week, someone had a go at me saying that I was quite boring. Um, Kareem, please always ignore that stuff. Yes. That person yes. that said that is very jealous of the fact that you are an educated, articulate man who can come on and hold his own. 
Well, thank you very much. That's Mr. what's Mr. going on there, so don't give that a second thought. But <laughs> my, point was, my point was being for that everybody that calls up has different interests. Everybody that calls, you know, when they speak, they've got different things to say. I mean, like during the week, I had someone talking about blinds, and I thought, well, you know, I actually need a pair of blinds, and they was talking about vertical blinds. Whether it was, it's just so random, and that's what's the beauty about a call-up. Well, everybody you see, this is intentional. This is what the big broadcasters struggle with, McClue. What uh -huh. do you talk about? I say everything. Then they yeah. try to interview me and say, who's your target audience? And I say, everyone, from 9 yeah. to 99. <laughs> and they go, yeah. yeah, but your target. I said, no, everyone. Then they say, yeah. what's your show about? I say, Scotty McClue. Yeah, but what does that mean? I said, well, listen in. Because as you say, it's random. It's everything because it appeals to everyone because everybody can come in at any level. So if they want to discuss the royal family, not a problem. If they want, want to discuss vertical blinds, not a problem, you see? And that is the appeal of the show. That's why you got your quarter of a million listening on the radio. Absolutely, Scotty. But I'll leave you with this thought, and maybe someone else can come in about this. I think I've said this back on Nation Radio. Yes. That for the people that are from East School Bride, there was an actual castle down called the Glen with the river. There was a massive castle. Um, they've still got some of the ruins. Like I know it. Like I remember it being for sale about uh, 30 years ago. Was it the whole castle back then or was it just the ground, Scott? I, I think, no, I fabulous. think it was actually the castle. There wasn't much in the grounds. People were playing football in front of it. The castle was yeah. for sale. And there's also another castle at Stuart Field at the loch there. And yes. that uh, little castle was restored by um, a gentleman that had a big shop in Glasgow. Oh, right. It's lovely when you go by there. I just really wish they kept that castle because some of the pictures, it just looked absolutely fun. And Frisco Bride as well. That's a bit of history. That's just, it's, it's Cal Calder Glen, yeah. Well, I can remember the castle. I don't know what happened, but it was going quite cheap at the time. And I think because of the public park. And I'll tell you where else there's a castle. If you go um, into Johnston, there's a little housing estate. And in the middle of the housing estate is this huge ancient castle. Wow. Right, <laughs> right. right sitting outside park. everybody's door. You've got that in Pollock as well near Silverburn. It's a Crookston Castle. Crookston Castle. Another one, Bothwell yeah. Castle, a huge old ruin oh, out, to, yeah. out at the Hamilton there, you yeah, know? What the dogs are. Do you know, I've just had a guy, Kareem, you'll love this. Uh, let's see if I can get this guy. I need to read all this stuff out because it's brilliant. But there's a guy here has said, um, what have we got here? Scotty, most people couldn't give a monkeys about the royal family. Nowhere near 50% these days, as you pointed out. What I'm telling them, everybody needs to give a monkeys about the royal yeah. family if they're interested in independence. If they're not, they can forget it because a whiff of republicanism and independence is toast. I, I, I said to my friend last night regarding that, Scotty, I said if there was ever, ever a vote, the, the royal family would have nothing to worry about because it would be 70, 80 percent. I said a lot of the public do care about the royal family, are interested in the royal family, and do take pride in the royal family. Yes. So I'm, I'm not worried about it at all. No, absolutely. Kareem, a privilege talking to you, and dinky do. Thank you, do. Speak to you tomorrow, Scott. Speak Good to you night. tomorrow, uh, night, night. God bless you. Fantastic stuff. There we are. That's our Kareem. Now, let's have some of your comments here. Uh, TikTokers. Johnston Castle, Castle Simple. Yes, indeed, Stevie. Ladies are so precious like a diamond. There we are, below the earth, equal rights. Big Scotty McClure, the legend. Follow us, guys, on TikTok if you're just coming on. Fantastic. Interesting stuff, lads. You support independence. Stevie, I do economically. I'm not a political person, as you know. Uh, who are you for the internet? Lots of lag. Uh, so there we are. Yeah, the internet's slow tonight. Scotty, did you hack Facebook? Hi, bestie, I've missed you. Lots of beautiful presents from you lovely TikTokers. Now let's get some of your comments here. 
Who sank the Bismarck? Do you know that the announcement of the sinking of the Bismarck went out from Greenock, from Bagatelle House? Right, let's get back to the telephones. Everybody's going bananas here. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? Hello there, this is Derek calling. Derek, how are you, La? Uh, very well. Uh, I just wanted to say to you, you know you're, you're looking for £7.50. £7.50, Derek. Yes, you're looking for £7.50. Yes. Yeah? Yep, yeah, so that you could buy a computer. Yes. Yeah, well, I, I, I looked you up on, on Google today. Yes, and it says I'm worth a million dollars. It says you're worth a million dollars. Yeah, you can forget all that. <laughs> you can forget all that, La. Oh, my God. Yeah, no, I, I lost my life savings in a business deal with a very, 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 very bad man. So you could you could forget all that, but that would be nice. It's a nice thought. Well, it's a nice thought. A million dollars, isn't it? Yeah, good for you. Yeah, I wish I had a million dollars. I wish I wish I had a million dollars. Aye, aye, aye. Right. Anyway, um, did you get any feedback from? Because I'm I'm watching you on YouTube tonight. Right. Because of everything, everything that's gone down. Everything's gone down, Derek. Lie. Yes. Aye, and um, I. I, I I, I phoned up last week and I just wondered, you, first and foremost, I've got a complaint to make. Good. Because you, you said you were coming back on Saturday night and you never. I couldn't, do you know, I couldn't get the phones fixed till one thirteen in the morning they went live again. Uh, so I do apologise. I hope that's dealt with your complaint. Complaint noted. <laughs> and the other thing is, is that did you get any feedback from... Uh, the statue of Margaret Thatcher. Yes, stacks and stacks of it. We had a guy called Meaty Boy that says he'd like a statue of Margaret Thatcher. She was the greatest woman ever. Absolutely. Everybody else went bananas and said it would get, it would get damaged. Aye. And you know that guy, Karim? Yes. He's not boring. He's great. He's fantastic. He's a great caller, Derek. And so are you, La. Yeah, that other guy there you have on David, he's boring. Oh, oh, I'll have to cut you off. We like David. Hello from Estonia. Thatcher, common Scotty. Good show. Jolly good show, says Dats on here. Absolutely loving it. Thank you, guys. Myth, the royals are toast, but Nicola will not make them an issue. We'll have the next referendum. No, Steve. The next referendum, you're getting it totally wrong. They are an issue now. Yeah. And remember, that's got to be sorted before the referendum or the referendum's toast. Right, off to the telephones. Who have we got here? You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, you're live on Scotty's phone in? Hey, Scotty, I'm getting the second uh, call in now, please. Ah, yes, lovely, lovely to have well, you with well, us. Well, we had a previous call on about, about David being boring. Yeah, David's not boring. No, Scotty, if, if he's not got anything to say about anybody else... Don't say, don't uh, say it at all. Don't say it, exactly. If you haven't got anything nice to say, don't say it at all. There's a lovely right, caller. Right. Wait till you hear this one, Glenn. Yes, yeah. DJ Hayes, I'm American. I can't understand anything. Beautiful. Hello from Salcoats and hello from Greenock, says Paul. So hey, uh, they're all coming on uh, here, Glenn. Scotty, there's a lot of jealousy, I think, from new callers. Very, very jealous. Yeah. Very jealous. And I noticed they were having a conversation amongst themselves the other night. They've got the chance to come on and put the, put the bit out there. They've got the chance. Anybody can phone up. Things that happen, they've intimidated all the time. There's a guy, there's April, says an opinion's not worth anything unless you can say it to their face. Precisely. So there we are. Amazing. Yeah. There's too much, I think there's too many opinionated people that actually go and say something then. If you say something and they say something, they want to just shoot your opinion down kind of thing, don't they? You know, before they actually 
this is their problem they don't they're not able to you see what you need to do if you're going to discuss something you need to a have the knowledge and understanding and b you need to have a long fuse exactly do you know what sometimes, i mean sometimes you know like a difference of opinion though can cause a bit of I mean, also well, it can cause animosity, but also it's very interesting because we accept all opinions here, and if there are a load of nonsense, I will tell them. People have got no need to put the freckles up, have they, when, uh, no. when, they, when they think somebody else is wrong and they're right? That's it. They don't have to do that. There's somebody asking for the phone number. <laughs> They're asking for the phone number. Oh, it's got to be one of these people coming They're going, they're on TikTok, they're wanting the phone number. Get on to YouTube. Hang on a second, Glenn. TikTokers, okay. if you look right in front of you at my TikTok bio, just below oh. that, you will see the YouTube link. Go and subscribe, tap the bell, get your notifications, and join in the phone in. Style. They need to get this YouTube channel going. That YouTube channel's yeah, been sitting there. The YouTube channel is the key, isn't it? It's the big one. It's the pivotal to the whole lot. And that exactly. should be up in the hundreds of thousands now. Definitely, yeah. I think. Uh, you know, it's sitting at, I think when I looked today, it's sitting at 2,850. Yeah. 2,850. Now, when I send out a tweet, it sometimes yeah. goes to about 4,000 people right away. And you put your football thing out, even though you're not a, not a big fan, you still put that out there, it's a football club. Hey, I love this. Weech, internet being down is bringing out the zombies. <laughs> Scotty, Scotty, I was just, think, I, I was just thinking before I phoned you back a second time. Will you ever do a, a duo call with somebody else on YouTube then? Yes. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. And, uh, well, I'm doing a call with you now. Scotty, yeah, the yeah. aliens are landing as we speak, says Danny. Scotty, I mean, like, camera to camera kind of thing. Oh, yes, we could do that if somebody's up for it. And and what we might do is, is uh, I'll, I'll, you know, look at my contacts book and maybe get some famous people on for a chat. Sounds good. You know, and say, right, we're having so and so on tonight, you know. We're all famous in his own ways, aren't we? Well, we are now, I'll tell you. I mean, every day it phones here. I mean, you put yourself onto YouTube, you'll hear Glenn, you'll hear Kareem. Yeah. You, you know, I mean, we're, some, we're all on there. Scotty, sometimes after, you, after, you've got, after we've gone off and when your streams end, us, I play it back, you know, on, uh, on YouTube. And is it fun? It's brilliant. See, there you go. So that's you're a famous man. So somebody will be talking to you in, in the pub in the Midlands and they'll go, are, yeah. are you that Glenn that phoned Scotty McClue? Brilliant guy, isn't it? You say, I am. Wow. Hey, I love your calls, mate. Get, get them calling, isn't it? Yeah. Tall 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 yeah. There's a lovely man. Geo Mac says, I saw you in the Forge Market. I opened the Forge Market about 22 years ago. And I went back and did their advert for television about, ooh, I don't know how long ago it'll be now. It was outstanding. Did you ever go to the big shopping centre, the Meadowall? Yeah, Meadowall, absolutely. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Fantastic. I remember it being opened. And then they're not the things they buy don't stand, are they? I, 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 remember, I remember it being opened. And I remember the big cooling towers coming down, all that. Yeah, the knocks and down, the air. You know, all that stuff. Amazing. Oh. Fantastic. You've got the flats, but you've got four pool flats, haven't you? They've got knocked down. Oh, have they knocked down the big old flats? The flats got knocked down, yeah. Beside the yeah. motorway? Yeah, all the way from the train station. Hey, yeah. interesting. I must come back and see Sheffield. Definitely, Sky. I love it so much. Glenn, I'm going to leave you with a little story. One sure. Christmas, somebody had offered me a big job in London, right? And I said, oh, I don't think it's me, really, to be honest with you. I said, well, we'd love to have you. And the money's there, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I'm walking me Labrador on, yeah. on a Sheffield moor at Christmas. Beautiful, crisp evening. Stars, yeah. moon, sheep, right? Yeah. And, and Dog and I walking along. And I thought, do you know, I could be sitting in a boardroom in London now 
dreaming of doing what I'm actually doing right now because that's what these others will be doing. That's the proudest, that's the proudest thing, and uh, a lot better. Can you see my thinking? I can, yeah. <laughs> I thought, you can, you can. why would I want to be sitting in a London boardroom right now? When you've got all the, when you've got all the, I'm looking up and I can, you know, I can virtually see the Christmas story rolling in front of me, the shepherds and the sheep. That's 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 the bad thing about it, Scott. You, you've stayed true to yourself, ain't you? Hey, look at this, Glenn. I bought my first dab radio to listen to you, Scotty. I bet it's too for your iPhone, Dan, Scotty, doesn't it? You know, and I'll tell you what else you get about a lot of these people that take these big jobs. First yeah. come out, Scotty, says motorbike stock in Gaelic, um, with a lot of these poor souls, you say, oh, how's so-and-so keeping this? Oh, he died. Yeah. You know, and, and the stuff and all the rest of it, you know? It's, it's, they're, not, they're not staying true to themselves, are they? They're, not really. They're just wanting to, they're just wanting to um, get a bit snobbery, really. And right? you, know, you know what Yorkshire's like. You take the dog back, you know, and you, you think, uh, you know, your mate knocks, knocks the door and says, you fancy a couple of pints? <laughs> you're never gonna, you're never gonna lose the Yorkshire man out of the no, the tree, you know, the no, club, definitely not. And as I say, I'm the only man in the world who's an honorary Yorkshireman, and that's the greatest that's honor the you could ever bestow. As soon as, like I said, first time I heard you, brilliant. Love it, love you, Glenn, yeah. mate. You take care. Thank you, Dula. Thank you, Scott. Top man, top man. There we are. That's our Glenn. Excellent stuff. To the telephones, folks. Lots and lots to get through tonight. My goodness me. Scotty, uh, me too, dear. I'm a mix of Irish and English, but I swear to the Irish. Claire, yes, we're all Irish. Lee from Barnsley here. Or eat Scotty Lee. Dinky do la. I love Dumbarton. My son lives there. D, I haven't thanked you for your kindness today. Thank you for your wonderful donation. For the equipment. Finally, I was able to catch your stream. It's lovely to see you on Twitch. I love you, TV. Dinky do. Thank you on Twitch. Can everybody watch me on Twitch? Aha, Merry Christmas, Dinky do. That's why I love the show. There we are. Scotty, I'll remember you. Be yourself, all yourself. Honest opinions. Absolutely clear. That's what it's all about. Nothing cool like castles. There we are. Who have we got here? Right. We're off to the telephones. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Oh, I'm boring. <laughs> You're boring. I know. I cut him off for that. Oh, that's scandalous. Oh, don't you take that to heart. <laughs> no, you haven't got a boring bone in your body. He's a good spy. Oh, he's got a good I'll spy. I'll tell you. Now, listen, uh, what I was going to say to you is thank you so much for all your generosity. No problem, I... And I'm sorry about, about last thing on Saturday night. There was just nothing I could do about that. Oh, no, I don't. I, I texted you back. I don't know if you got that. I, I, I thought maybe you get a hat or something. No, 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 no. I had one thirteen in the morning. I got the phones I working. And I thought, they'll all be in their bed. There's no point in popping up. And I was shattered. I was shattered by then because it's all this put in your password and do this oh, and do that and do that. I thought, oh, for goodness sake. You know on the internet when you get into one of these sessions? Yeah, yeah. You know, it used to be it used to be you'll have to reload Windows and all that stuff. This will mean you've lost all your information and, oh, stop! <laughs> Oh well, we're not going to that. We'll not slag off. We'll not slag off any of the big companies because they've oh, got their no. they've got their things. But um, no, but no, I mean tonight we've lost a few platforms. You know, there's there's something that, there's something strange going on. Something very strange going on there, Davy. I'll tell you. Glenn, so I do. I'll be Glenn. He's a lovely person. That's all I can say, you know. And people, and Kareem, Kareem, lovely guy. Kareem's fantastic. I mean, you know, I mean, he was just amazing tonight, you know. Oh, he's just, 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 he's just
I didn't want these people seeing, you know, they're like this and all like that and whatever. Oh, I can do it. They just had a good spanking. So. A good spanking. But you see, I mean, it's very interesting because I love the difference of opinion. And I've uploaded, I've explained myself tonight in a YouTube video and a TikTok yeah. video about the yeah. Queen. Do you know what I mean? Uh -huh. yes, right. You I see, the thing about that. McClure, I can back it up and people don't yeah. like that. Well, that, these people just get a problem in their wee, their wee brain cells. That's well, I told a boy the truth tonight and he comes back and goes, Poppycock! <laughs> Poppycock! <laughs> Right, and I says, I see you're not a man for the truth. <laughs> and they think when, when because you've told them the truth about the Queen, they then start going, ah, get off your knees and all that stuff. I say, I'm not on my knees. I'm just telling you the truth. Well, I think people don't get married, do you mean? You're in no, I think, I think they're worried about the whole thing. I think this whole thing of commitment has turned into control. Yeah, so the government yeah. can then say, who's your missus and who's your man? And all that, you know? I mean, look at me. I was really married. I mean, by the air. Oh, they'd be snapping you up. You'll have to watch, you know? I mean, look at me, right? Imagine, I don't like my a woman. <laughs> I, I say, I used to remember when I took a refreshment, I would say, oh, yeah. my God, what a night last night. I think I asked so-and-so to marry me. And and this yeah. guy says, I, says, I, says, I better say sorry about that. But ah, away you go. Listen, the only thing you've got to watch is one night, one of them will say yes. <laughs> I bet. I'll get on it. I'll get on it. I'll get on it. I'll get on it. I love that. It's all good Scottish banter. Do you know what I mean? You and your spank. What are you like? I know, I know. Here's a lovely one. Here's a guy. Wait till you hear this one, Davy. Scotty, yeah. do you remember one night on Scott FM you kept the show going past the usual finish time? We did, Gio. But another time on another radio station, I locked myself in. That says that, that's right. I just locked us in. I says we'll just stay on till oh. two o'clock. I said nobody I wanted the phone in to finish. I uh, see that's great. But we can do it on that as well, yeah. And I and I played I played all the music I liked. They were going <laughs> daft. <laughs> I'm saying now our next our next piece of music is Jimmy Shand. <laughs> Jimmy Shand, I'll tell you the greatest ambassadors for Scotland in the, the 50s, 60s, 70s and 80s and 90s, Jimmy Shand and Kenneth McKellar. Well, that's funny, I was watching some of that on YouTube. Wonderful. I love it. Me, me and Martin and John, seriously, I, I love it. I was up dancing to that. That was my time with my mum and dad when they were, well, my mum's dead now, my dad's still here. I used to watch it, and then used to go into that full thing, crying, doing whatever, you know. Jimmy Shand <laughs> and Kenneth McKellar's singing is just second to oh, none. Amazing, you know. People, Johnny Beatty is your name. Johnny Beatty, yes, and uh, oh, and and our dear yeah, friends yeah. Ricky Fulton, Jack Mulroy, Jack Mulroy, oh, definitely, Lex McLean, Lex, God, they, 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 Walter they, 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 Carr, remember Walter Carr, the comedian? He was the uh, he was uh, the mate in Parahandy. Oh, Parahandy, I can I have the back? Yes, yes, Roddy McMillan, for the Johnny Greve, Alex McAvoy, I mean, fantastic. Okay. Amazing stuff, Jamie, son, you know? Great stuff. It's just, you know, we need to get back to that. They need to stop the nonsense. Nobody wants to just sit up all night listening to loud music. Have you noticed that everything on the telly, you can't hear yeah. the boy speak for loud music? That's great. This is why YouTube, YouTube's bringing the new stuff in. Yes. Yes. And you can get everything on YouTube. It's outstanding. Oh. But I'll tell you, Davey, I need to get this YouTube channel moving now. It's sitting there at 2,800. We need to get that built right up. That should be about half a million people watching. Well, that's good. And uh, again, 
Yes, but please never, ever, ever feel obliged. Only if it suits. I know, but I will be doing that. And I'm so grateful because I love it. See, did you hear that boy on that he Googled us and I was worth a million dollars? Took all my money away and that stuff, and oh, we had to rebuild our life. That's terrible. That's not yep. take all your money. Man. Yep. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And and that was that. So there we go. And mind you, I think you'd got some problems, you know. Did you get the point? No. Well, you see, the, the problem is you don't want a person like that to be a part of your life. No. Do you see? I mean, you want you you just want to get get everything sorted and uh, and and move on when you get scammed like that, you know. It's terrible. It's, it's awful. Yeah, that, I mean that 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 kind of really uh, done you in. You oh yes, me, you yes, know? yes. So you have to crawl back, you know, uh, yeah. and and the rest of it. But here we are, and we're doing what we do best. That's right, son. Well done. We're talking to the nation. You take great care, Davy, and love to you and John, and we'll catch up soon. Thank you, do. Thank you, do, Lala. To the telephones as quickly as possible. We are exceptionally busy tonight. Whoa! Uh, there we are. Merry Christmas. Stop. I'm yet to start my Christmas shopping. Don't worry about that. Scoffy, I've missed your loads, mate. I now live in Spain, fella. Hope you're well. Stevie, thanks. Nonsense. So there we are. What are we talking about here? Fantastic. You're watching Scotty McClure, and we are live on the big one. Off to the telephones. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Oh, has he finished? Who's, has who finished? Oh, that boring Davey. Well, hey, listen, he must be finished if boring you is on. There we go. Fantastic. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Barnsley. Lee from Barnsley. How lovely to have you with us. Thank you, do, uh, Lee. How are you? Hey, well, better for hearing you. This is lovely. You know what? I've missed you. I mean, I, I don't really comment much, so you don't see me, but I watch every one of your uh, videos, live videos, and it just plugs me up, Scotty, because I love you. Well, that's so kind of you. That is so very, very kind of you because I love being on with you guys because you're lovely people. Well, where, where do we start this week, though? There's so much news. Where, oh. where do we start, Scotty? What do we do about that? Well, I'm thinking about... I'm thinking about... Um, what do you think about uh, these petrol prices, petrol uh, shops? Shortages, well, I think the whole shortage thing, I think it's there's not actually a shortage. They're, what they're having to do is just get it sorted, get the deliveries sorted out. And in Scotland, it's absolutely gone. Well, yeah, but I mean, I, I think the worst place in Great Britain is London. Yeah. Um, well, well, you know, we should have remembered that, shouldn't we? You we should have. It's obvious, but... You know, where I live in Barnsley, South Yorkshire, yep. there's no queues. People are just going about the business. Well, you see, the way. thing about Yorkshire people, they're well organised. It doesn't matter oh. what your background oh, is in Yorkshire, they won't put up with nonsense. If that's true, but I wouldn't say well organised, Scotty. Sometimes we can be, we can be like, debatable. You know, we can be, we can act in a way that is kind of, um, silly in in so many respects, just like any other part of the country. But I'd just like to say, Scotty, that you know um, Brexit. I, I hate to bring it up, and no, go on, go on. You're fine. We don't mind. I'm so sorry because I know you. You know you've got some really bad. But I, I part part of this fuel shortage, as you know, as much as it's happening in our continent, yeah. You know, <coughs> fuel shortages not only here, but Poland, Germany, France, Spain. It's not only us that's going through this shortage. No, no. At the same time, I can't help but think that, you know, we, we, we've got a shortage of drivers in this country for a reason. 50,000, which is way more than on continent. And I can't help but think that it could possibly be because of 
Brexit? What of course think? it's because of Bre Brexit is the biggest act of self-harm and they're at their conference right now and they're going on about the cost of the pandemic. Now, everything yeah. they say, put in the cost of Brexit. They're saying they're going to have to save money. They're going to have to get money back. Brexit's cost us around £250 billion pounds with nothing, yeah. nothing to show for it. I agree with that. It has so far. and You know, and it'll keep costing us. And they're saying, oh, it's been great, it's been great. This country, when the Tories took power, uh, when they went for their austerity, there was about yeah. 435 billion pounds sloshing yeah. about free for spending. Yeah. Now we're yeah. 350 billion down the swanee. 250 yeah. billion of that is Brexit. So that yeah. means there's about 700 billion pounds been squandered yeah. in the last 12 years. I totally agree with you, um, Scotty, on that respect. Can I just say, um, what do you think about the the 20 pound? I know it were only a temporary measure and it weren't only for England, it was for Scotland, yeah. Wales and Northern Ireland. What do you think about um, the government giving away this extra 20 pound a week to the less fortunate? I don't mind. I don't mind the less fortunate getting anything that helps because I know what it's like out there. I know how tough it can be. I know what a difference just a 10 or 15 quid can make, you know, but your problem is we need to sort a lot of things out. We need to get people off the drugs. We need to get people off the alcohol. We need to get people away from the fags and from things that harm them. We need to get people's behaviour sorted out. We need to get yeah. respect back. Yeah, and that's why you've got a lot of fans all over the UK. Well, Great Britain and the UK, including Northern Ireland. Because you say it how it is, you're not scared. No, well, I'm not a political person. I've got no axe to grind. I've got no chips on my yeah. shoulder. Uh, you know, I'm not angry. I'm not, uh, my judgment's not clouded. I'm having a look at what's going on. And very often I'm thinking, tut, 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 tut. Yeah, exactly. And what do you think about, um, do, do you want Scotland to... Um leave the UK? Are you well, I think the way Scotland's or... been treated in recent times, you see, the Union was built on sand and it was yeah. Queen Anne who was a Stuart Queen, a descendant yeah. of Charles Edward Stuart and James II and all that. And Queen Anne, she, I mean, she died, died childless, but, um, you know, they really robbed Scotland blind. They bought it for about 1,500 yeah. quid by bribing the aristocracy. Yeah. You know? And uh, so so they bought it for that. And here's a lovely guy here, Lee. Oscar says, who are you? So I'll have to oh. tell Oscar, I am Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet. <laughs> but it's amazing. It's amazing. Scott is amazing. It's, it's, it's strange stuff, isn't it? So there we go. But okay. um, no, no, what, what I'm thinking there, so it was Queen Anne that did this union. So it was built on sand. Yeah. And Scotland had to seriously devalue the pound Scots for uh, to facilitate economic union. Mm. So, so well, Scotland's oh, it's it's just say, there as a cash cow at the moment. Can I just say, say Scotty, that you know I'm not against Scot Scotland getting their independence from the UK. I just think that you know we're more. We can do more and achieve more together. What do well, you think well no, we can't until they stop robbing Scotland. You see, it's supposed to be 50-50. Yeah, yeah. Now, here's what, in an ideal world, Lee, and I'll run this past you, and you can have a yeah. bit of think about this. What yeah. I would like to see is Scotland extend its sin, right? The yeah. Treaty of York from something like 1237. Last week was the anniversary, and um, I, I think... We could do with Yorkshire and Northumberland and Cumberland and um, uh, Lancashire and Yorkshire all part of Scotland. Yeah, well, <laughs> and I and I think the Barnsley yeah. people would be up for that. Well, Scotty, you never know in the future because going down the centuries, you know, going back into fourteenth, fifteenth century. Borders have always changed in this country, yeah. and you never, 
You never know exactly what's going to Well, look up, on look up the Treaty of York. Now you see that would that would change your view all altogether because instead of saying we're better together, we'd be together anyway. Yeah, yeah, and of course we'd work together. That's oh yeah. About that. But I'm just saying, um, under the Henry VIII and his, you know, when he were reigned in 1566, was it 1546? Can't yeah, remember. yeah, Henry VIII, yeah, 1500s. He, yeah, he created the United Kingdom. He create he created Scotland and the U and England to come together as as a partnership and as a union. So, I mean, this union... Well, your like, big one was 1603, the Union of the Crowns, when James the Sixth of Scotland became James the First of England. Oh, I'm sorry, I stand correct. That, that, was, your, that was your big one, when the, Scotland actually took over the British crown. Yeah. You yeah. know? So what, what do you think? Do you think Wales, England, Scotland and Northern Ireland should all go independent? Or do you think we should stay... Together as the I think Brexit Brexit has done South two things. Brexit Island. will cause economic annihilation in this country. It already has God. started. And also it will cause the fragmentation of the United Kingdom. I agree. I totally you agree. know, we built Europe up. It's our EU. We built it up over 50 years of peace and prosperity. So why aren't we still in the EU? That's we should have been. I mean, it's madness. We're sitting at the big table along with our dear friends and allies, Germany. Very well organized country, Germany, nowadays. And uh, we were controlling 30% of the, the world's top trading block. Gave it up for nothing so a few billionaires didn't have to pay their tax. Scotty, you know, you know where I live in, Barnsley? Yeah, love it. We've, we've just gone through, um, we've, the whole town centre has been modernised. It's going to be open in 2022. I love it. You know, it's been going on since 2015. Yeah. It's nearly finished, so it, it looks amazing. But you know where we got? I think there was no wrong with it before, you know. Well, you know where we got most of that money from to do these, to do these changes? From, from Europe. Made, from the European Social Fund, exactly. Yeah. Hey, Lee, they're all shouting and bawling on here. Henry, get with the times, mate. Embarrassing, says this cracking guy. Daft as a brush. Here he goes. Clearly a valid reason you're no longer broadcasting. I'm broadcasting right now, you half-wit. <laughs> I'd like him to live in a small town like Barnsley. Yeah. That, that, that relied on funds from the European Social Fund. That's it. You know, we you go in town in Barnsley, there's a big black placard, there's a big blue placard with European social stars, yeah. with EU stars on saying, we got these funds from there, and yet Barnsley voted to leave. I don't get it. I don't. Here's a guy from Wales says, independence of Scotland and Wales is now inevitable, as is Irish unification eventually. What about that? Well, it, it could be in future, Scott, so we yeah. don't know, do we? It yeah. could be. Very could interesting. Be now, I'm going to have to go, Lee, because they're all yeah. going daft here. And okay. uh, it's been a joy speaking to you. Don't make this your last call, by the way. I won't. It's been, it's been lovely to speak to you, Scotty. Love you it. Care. Love you Barnsley. Love to you and love to Barnsley. Love to Scotland, mate. Hey, dinky do, la la. <laughs> there we are. That's our Lee. Fantastic. Now, we're going to have to say goodnight to our beautiful TikTokers because we're out of time. Love you lots, beautiful TikTokers. Thank you for watching. And dinky do. Lahoon says, Scott is a wonderful man. Dinky do. Dinky do, everybody. Good night. God bless. Ta ra. And see you, lalas. Right, that's our lovely TikTokers have had to dash off. Nevertheless, an absolute joy to be with you all. Now then, uh, we're still live for another minute on here. Let's just see what you lot are saying to it. Um, nonsense. Uh, at, yeah, you don't, David Scott, we don't know anything about that. And we can't discuss it at the moment. Hi, Scott, he'll ring soon. That was Lee, fantastic. Can you say hi to Kirsty and VJ. Yes, I can, Kirsty. David's a good guy, says VJ. Talking about marriage, Scotty, my wife says I spend more time watching this than spending time with her. Well, this is a good way to spend time. The two of you should watch it together. 
there we are now who have we got here they're training all right uh what a lot of nonsense ah he's gone ebb we haven't gone there we go fantastic i hate politics never hate anything clear but i'm afraid we have to live by the rules in it says dd there we are uh, you're treading on tartly god bless for your opinion hello scotty greetings from litham st anne's paul i hope you are well in litham st anne's gonna have to go guys been an absolute blast good night god bless thank you do and ta -ra -las! <laughs>